past the 60 foot. We were data logging and we were seeing that I was having a misfire. Alright guys, so what we're about to do is go and try and see if we can do a 60 to 130 with the dragging. This is the same setup as when we went to the track. No passenger seat and got rid of the exhaust, we got dumps. That's it. We're gonna go onto the street and do it, see what it does 60 to 130. With me and the passenger holding the camera, we're gonna see it. And uh, over almost a full tank, like over three quarters of a tank. I've never shown 60 to 130 numbers on this car. But since it's gonna be the next giveaway car, I'm gonna go ahead and show the full setup and the real numbers. So right now I'm shooting for it to run uh, maybe maybe fours, 60 to 130. So we'll see what happens. If it makes a good pass, I don't see why it wouldn't run 470s, 480s. Let's go find out. got a bunch of rocks on the tires from the last time we went to the track. They get all sticky and pick up all the little rocks. So I'll probably do a little quick burnout, a little rolling burnout, and hopefully we can clean them enough to make a good 60 to 130. I haven't taken it for alignment after I raised the coilover to the front, so it's a little, it's a little off, but nothing we can't work with. We're gonna find out what it does right now. I'll get an alignment before we give it away. Before we continue this video, I want to come on here to remind you guys about the giveaway we have going on right now till February 1st, 11.59 p.m. Central Time. Head on over to the website, HoustonStreetMonsters.com. Make your purchases. We got shirts, decals, posters, bundles, you name it. Get on there, make your purchases, get your entries, get entered to win this badass giveaway that's behind me that's now going to have a 408 Texas Speed Long Block in it. So don't miss your chance to win this truck. Head on over to the website, make your purchases, and good luck, everybody. new spark plugs, new wires, and it was still missing. So went ahead and swapped coils to see if it's the coil and also made a few changes on the tune so we can kind of rule out an injector too. So we'll see what happens right now. Doing it 
it so it's not the coils because we swapped them and it's still misfire number six so go back and look into the injectors now Alright guys, so we just made, well we didn't make no hits, but I got on it about two times and uh, we didn't have the tires warmed up, we don't have whatever. I was just trying to see if it was going to misfire or not. And it looks like it didn't misfire anymore, so it looks like the culprit here is the Lingen filter timing retarder we have there because this car does have a hundred shot of nitrous, just in case. We went ahead and bypassed the harness. to disconnected the lingam filter put the coil harness the factory harness back on there and got rid of the lingam filter and now it's not misfiring so we're gonna go make some full 60 to 130 hits now that it seems like it's not misfiring so we can find out for real if it's not misfiring anymore but from those two little hits that i made it didn't misfire so i think that was the issue the lingam filter timing retarder so we're gonna go back to the shop put some fuel check the air on the tires then go out to the private track and uh make some 60 to 130 hits see what it does let's go Alright guys, so we filled up, got almost full of tank, I checked the tire pressure because this time we're going to go out to my private track and do some 60 to 130 pulls and hopefully it doesn't misfire. It didn't misfire on the first two hits I made which were short hits but looks like it's working so we're going to go all the way to my private track and find out what this sucker runs 60 to 130 with me in it, passenger, camera guy no passenger seat and no exhaust so he's got dumps uh, passenger seat delete and two passengers inside with a full tank let's go guys if this thing makes a clean pass 60 to 130 i predict with a passenger a heavy passenger what do you mean by that uh i think it might do like a four four eighties blower only we don't have nitrous right now but I think it'll do that. This car's making about 19, 20 pounds of boost. It's on a big pulley. I can still pull it down, whatever, but I never wanted to do that. So I predict we'll run like a 480s, 470s maybe. We'll see. Another thing, the IETs are gonna be pretty uh, on the high side compared to what it usually is because we don't have the AC belt on right now and we depend on the AC to lower my IETs because we have the Weapon X uh, chiller. So IETs are higher than usual, but We'll see what it does. Hopefully we make one good pass. And that's all I have to do. As long as this motherfucker runs 480s or better, we're good. This car is about, fuck, I don't know, 5,000 pounds right now. It's pretty heavy right now. Here we go. guys 
God damn, the streets are cold too, so. That's it. That's a wrap. Y'all seen it here? Big body, four door, two passengers, 200 plus passengers, full tank of gas, 477. Justin White Tomb, baby. Let's go. This is the kind of shit that makes me happy. When you figure out an issue, especially this one being an electrical issue, which was the Lingen filter uh, timing retarder, um, it was making it misfire. And, you know, we looked at the mechanical side and all that stuff, make sure all the valve train was good before I started looking into electrical shit. So I went ahead and bypassed the Lingen filter, put the factory uh, coil harness back on the coils, and we came out here and tried to test it, and it's not misfiring anymore. So, so it looks like I'm gonna have to buy a new Lingen filter timing retarder, but bitch is running 100% like it's always been. It hasn't skipped the beat. I knew it was gonna run 480s or better. It did 477 with me, 230. Passenger is 280 or something. I don't know. The guy's heavy. Uh, no passenger seat, obviously, but that's about it. Um, I do have dumps, and that's it. Other than that, put the passenger seat back on, put the exhaust. This thing will still run 480s. Shit's a legit. Oh, oh I never stopped this. <laughs> Let's go see if it hooks. If it hooks and make a cleaner pass, I don't see why it wouldn't run. A little lower 470 so if not we already saw I'm not gonna keep beating on it just because I know the conditions aren't uh, the best right now but this car is fucking legit Hope everybody had a good New Year's. We're done with the holidays. We're back at it again. And uh, you guys got to check out the V3 blog. We went out there, figured out the issue. The car is ready. I uh, just got to wait on the Lingen filter timing retarder so that we can have it on there because the car does have a hundred shot of nitrous just in case we need it. Once we get that new timing retarder, we'll put it on there, head out to HMP, dial in the car as far as the 60 foot, eighth mile. Once that's ready, we're gonna head out to my boy Gary and set that quarter mile record over there with the V3 to show you guys that this is the fastest V3 in the world. With that being said, guys, don't forget about the current giveaway we got going on right now, this badass turbo truck with the new 408 Texas Speed Long Block. We got less than a month left on this giveaway. So hurry on up and head over to the website, HoustonStreetMonsters.com. Make your purchases, get entered to win this truck. Good luck.